Hello. In this session, we are going to look at the different types of cloud service providers we have. So, you know, generally, when we talk about your cloud computing, we have different different types of cloud service providers. So, in this session, we'll talk about some of the cloud service providers that we have, and we'll also, you know, uh, talk a bit more on your cloud service providers as well. Now, before we start with this, in the last session, we looked at the different types of uh, deployment models we have. So we have the public cloud, we have the private cloud, and then we have the hybrid cloud. Now, once again, before we start off with this session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started with this. Now, before we look at the service providers, let's first understand what is your cloud service providers. Now, cloud service providers are simply a company which provides you the cloud services. So this can be your software as a service, your platform as a service, or your infrastructure as a service or any resources as part of your infrastructure like your network services, your business applications, your mobile applications and the overall infrastructure which will be running in the cloud and all of these resources will be provided by the cloud service provider. So the cloud service providers will host all of these services in a data center and as a user we can access these services through this cloud provider companies using an internet connection. So all of these resources will be available as a virtualized resources and all of these resources will be provided by the cloud service provider and we being the end users we can access these resources using an internet connection. So whenever we talk about the cloud service providers there are many companies that provide you these cloud services for the end user. So let's look at some of the uh, service providers that are available for us. So the first service provider that we have is your AWS. Now AWS it stands for Amazon Web Services and Amazon AWS is a secure cloud platform provided by Amazon. So Amazon basically owns this AWS uh, uh, platform and this offers you with various services such as your database storage, your computing power, your content delivery, your database, email and lots of other functionality which helps us to grow as an organization. So basically, uh, AWS provides, provides us everything that is needed as part of the infrastructure to set up the resources that is needed as part of the infrastructure. The next cloud service provider we have is Microsoft Azure and this is also known as your Windows Azure. So this again provides you with all the resources that is needed as part of the infrastructure. So various operating systems, databases, programming languages, uh, various frameworks that allows the IT professionals to easily build, deploy and manage the applications through a worldwide network. The next service provider we have is your GCP which stands for Google Cloud Platform and this is a platform or this is a product provided by Google. So Google owns this GCP platform for the cloud services and again GCP provides us everything that is needed as part of the infrastructure. So your virtual machines, the hard disk, the computers, the networks, the database, everything will be provided by the GCP platform that we can use to set up the infrastructure. And this also helps organizations to simplify the migration process. So you want to migrate your database or your servers or your applications, uh, your GCP can simplify that process as well. The next uh, service provider we have is your Alibaba cloud. Now this is another uh, cloud service provider that provides you with a highly scalable services. Now, see almost all of the cloud service providers provides you the same resources. It's all about, you know, which service provider you're comfortable with, uh, which service provider you do you prefer in terms of the availability, in terms of the costing and all, you will be going with those service providers. So Alibaba Cloud also provides you with various services, including elastic computing, storage, networking, security, database applications, uh, media applications, cloud communication, IoT services and many more resources that you can use to set up your infrastructure. The next service provider we have is your digital ocean. Now this is again one of the very popular cloud service provider that you have that provides you with computing resources to an organization. So again here it provides you all the resources that is needed to set up our infrastructure and we can use this to manage and deploy our web applications on the virtual resources that are provided by the digital ocean. 
Now, other than this, we have many more cloud service providers. So we have uh, Rackspace, we have Verizon, we have IBM Cloud, we have Oracle Cloud, we have Red Hat Cloud, we have uh, Salesforce Cloud, uh, Tencent Cloud. Likewise, we have lots of cloud service providers that you can choose from depending on your use case, depending on your uh, requirement. Now, uh, we will be looking at your AWS. So in the next session, we will start off with your introduction to AWS. We'll talk a bit more on your AWS, but ideally these are all the different cloud service providers that are available for us to choose from as a user. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.